Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Mavericks. Got another video for you guys today. Thanks for joining me in this beautiful day. Today is Thursday. Well, I'm making the video on Thursday and uh, we're having all, a good old time here, right? We got another MacBook. We got this nice rose gold MacBook. It's not pink, it's rose gold. By the way, I like the color. I'd probably get it myself. What do you guys, do you guys like this color or um, would you guys get like one of the midnight colors, the starlight? Starlight looks pretty cool too. We got a lot of melons. Uh, we're actually located in uh, the Northern Virginia area, uh, close to where DC is, so we get a lot of that. This one actually isn't the case because they actually came from an Apple store and then they came here. Now, uh, they said a lot of bad things uh, about Apple. We never went to bow mouth anyone for that because you know they, they're they a place where they're just told to do what they're supposed to do, right? They're, they have guidelines and they need to do certain things and the idea is really to buy another one or to get um, user services, right, for, for types of repairs. But the only thing about that is when they do some type of repairs or when a place does a repair, usually what they do is they will replace the board. And the problem is replacing the board, it's a good and bad thing. It's good, how it will fix the problem because you're replacing the board, everything's located on the board, but it's bad at the same time because everything's located on the board and you have what on the board? You have your data because the data is soldered in. So it's one board that has RAM, CPU, everything, and then you have a soldered SSD that's there. Um, this one in particular too, this one does have it and it also has a security chip. Uh, this is still one of the Intel ones, so it's not like an ARM-based one like before. So um, for this, when we, do, when we do these type of repairs, we always like to offer like a data recovery service or if they just want to fix it, we can do either one. And that's usually what makes us different. And that's probably why you guys are watching the video because it's more interesting than just replacing a part. They actually had this powered on before and um, it freezes, I think, when they were trying to install an OS or they were trying to do like a, a DFU mode, which you should only do a DFU mode if you know why you're doing a DFU mode. I have a whole dedicated video, I think at least two or three probably, on the channel if you want to go ahead and check those out if you're interested in what that even is um, to revive a dead Mac but there's very specific reasons you need to do that now this we can I can clearly see just by looking at it there um, uh, and, and kind of what they described anyway there was a problem with the charging circuit wouldn't charge uh, it was showing zero volts and we know why because if you look here if you look at this look at this chip here you can kind of see it looks a little bit swollen right so if I go at this angle, we'll go under the microscope in just a little bit, but that's what it is. It's kind of swollen. So usually what that means is, well, obviously we need to replace it because it's bad, but there can also be a burn underneath the chip, which is pretty bad because it's a BGA type chip. It looks like it's like a dent on that. So what we need to do is, we definitely need to do a replacement because that's what's going to give a problem. And you can see it's a C32. They're very easy to spot. They're on uh, any Macs with the USB-C, which is basically all of them at this point, or at least anything past for MacBook Air, it would be anything past 2017, so all the 2018s and above have them, but a lot of the pros do, too. most of the pros do too. So what we need to do for this, we need to go ahead and check underneath it. We need to remove that, that CD32 chip, see, make sure there's no burn, and we need to do a replacement for that. And hopefully that's all we need to do. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So we're going to start just by removing um, the top one first there, and we're just going to be checking underneath to see if there's anything. Looks to be pretty clean. BGA is uh, pretty good as the most part. Um, and whenever you remove these, you always have to remove what's underneath there because that's what a BGA is. It's a ball grid array. So you need to clean that. And then uh, if you get a chip, you can just put the chip back on. You don't have to reball it, do nothing else there. So that's what we have and that's what we need to do. Now, if you saw the other one, the other one's a little bit swollen. And if it's a little bit swollen, that means it's not going to work. So we have to have both of these things working. And we're going to be doing the same thing here. Nothing too uh, eventful actually happened because it looks to actually be pretty normal. So we're just doing a replacement. And now we're going to go ahead and just uh, see if they work. Okay, so let's try out the repair. Let's test it. Let's see, I got my stuff here. Oh, man. Actually, I already plugged it in. Uh, I'm not getting my right voltage there. But there's a reason I'm going to plug it. Oh, that was right here in front of me. It was right here. You guys should have told me. I had it right here. All right, so let's plug this in and let's see what we get. Uh, all right, so we plug it in and we're getting what? We're getting five volts. The amps go up a little bit. And we're stuck at about, what, 0.25? Probably the same on either one. Um, now, this looks to be good, unquote good, uh, because why? We weren't getting output on the one. So it looks like our C32s most likely are good in this case. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because of what the customer tried to do. And what the customer tried to do is they try to put it, um, because it wasn't working or wasn't charging, they try to put it in what's called like a DFU mode. 
And while you do that, if you do that while you're doing anything else, it's very easy to damage the laptop. So end up, oops, it's very easy to damage the laptop and possibly even lose the data, wipe it, wipe the firmware, do other things. You shouldn't do that unless you know exactly why you're doing it. <laughs> it's, you know, uh, after this, since we did repair, since we know everything looks to be okay, once we know that these voltages are showing what they're showing, now I'm gonna go into the DFU mode because the customer went into the DFU mode. And I need to undo what they did and hopefully we don't need to uh, um, wipe the data and I don't know. And I don't know how far they got, I just, this is what they told us. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. Now I got this really cool one, I'm gonna be putting this in the full screen soon, but I wanna clean up my area, cause you guys wanna say, oh, it's a little messy here, excuse that. And another thing too, is I don't feel the touchpad vibrating. Sometimes you can tell that and it will actually show you and that would be something, but let's see. Unless something else isn't connected, unless the touchpad has a problem too. It's possible. We're getting nothing. Let's go to the thermal cam here, plug it in. We're gonna see how the board reacts to it. So we're getting our voltage there. This looks more normal. Our CD32s don't look to really have a problem there. Yeah, so it keeps doing this over and over again. Each port, I plug it in, it will give me this. So it makes me think if the, um, maybe the palm rest is bad, maybe the keyboard's bad altogether. Maybe there's liquid spill or something on the keyboard. So I never get everything that you want to know, but I'm gonna try another palm rest. Okay, so we've got a new palm rest and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Cause maybe the keyboard is bad. That would make a lot of sense, right? The keyboard was bad. Cause you need to push certain buttons to get into that mode. Maybe you just can't get into that mode at all. So let's go ahead and try that. This trackpad usually is one thing, especially the trackpad cable, but maybe the whole palm just doesn't work or maybe there's like a problem with it. Maybe the key doesn't work, uh, who knows? And that's why we have our tester here. So I just replaced the whole palm rest. I replaced uh, what we have here is our tester one, even the screen just put the board in. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, and it worked. See that? Now it actually did come up there. It looks like we're stuck in our thing. So uh, most likely what we need to do is let's see if we can do like a, a revive first because that was, looks like it's stuck there. And let's see if it'll work. That's good, we, we got this. So maybe the keyboard was actually bad for it. Install the system. That's dirty. Well, this <laughs> this screen I know isn't the, the best one, but let's see if we can actually get it to come up. Oh, it looks like it came up. So it looks good. See, that's usually a good thing. We'll see. See if it continues. So it went and then it died, but that's always good if it showed up. All right, and it looks like it worked there. So lock usually means there's a password or something on it, but everything looks to be pretty good. It's loading up and we're all good to go. All right, everybody, so thank you guys for watching this video on fix the A1932 MacBook Air. You can see what the damage CD32 is there. If you're ever trying to do any of those type of firmware updates or any type of DFU mode, make sure you know what you're doing first make sure you know why you're doing it in the first place. So you can see that is a problem and you can always risk your data as a possibility for that. Um, you can see certain type of voltages going in there. You think you fixed the board and you still have another problem. And then you can see there's a, a palm rust issue with the trackpad and everything. Oh man. so. Fun one though, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, it really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content, see you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching guys, take care, bye.